Group policy objects are often overlooked when we are attacking Active Directory, but they can hold potential attacks that can escalate our privileges on the target machine. In this video, we will cover the basics of GPUs, how they work, why they are important on an Active Directory environment, and demonstrating how to create an attack path that gives a simple user full control on a GPU and then executing commands as an administrator. By understanding the importance of GPUs and how they can be leveraged, we can enhance our security defense and mitigate the risk of a successful attack. Let's get started. Before we dive into practice, we need to take a moment to explain the theoretical part of what is a GPU and why they are important in an Active Directory environment. Basically, GPUs are set of roles and settings used to control the behavior and the security of users and computers. And what I mean about this is, for example, I want the background image of a specific computer to be a cat, or I want the user to not be able to access CMD. All of those rules can be set on a GPU. For example, we can create a GPU, a group policy object that have certain rules, and then we associate that GPU to an OU, an organization unit. And an OU is basically a folder used to organize and manage users, groups, and computers. For example, if a company have a marketing department, then they can create an OU which is a folder, a container, to manage all the users and computers used in the marketing department. Now without further talk, let's see how to do that on an Active Directory environment. As you can see, this is the domain controller. Let's go to Tools, Active Directory Users and Computers, View Hidden Features. Let's create a new organizational unit called Marketing. And create a new user in this OU called Test User. Test, User, Test User, the password with the zero, Next, and Finish. Also create a new group called Marketing GRP. So marketing grp group cool now let's go to tools group policy management so gpu are applied to three main entities the first one is a site which is a physical network location and the second one is the domain and the last one is the ou the organizational unit that can hold other ou's or users groups and computers and there are two default gpus the first one is the default domain policy that is applied to the domain. The second one is the default domain controller policy that is applied to the domain controller OU. Now the default domain policy is applied to the domain egotistical-bank.local and there is no group policy inheritance because this is the top policy, nothing above. But if we go to the domain controller OU group inheritance section, we will find two, the default domain controller policy and the default domain policy that is inherited from the top OU, which is the domain OU. And also the marketing OU inherit the default domain policy too. Now let's create a new GPU called test GPU. Let's edit it and add some rules on it. As we said before, GPUs are applied on computers and users. Let's go to user configuration, policies, desktop, and let's enable this rule that remove the recycle bin icon from the desktop. So users that this GPU is applied to, when they access their account, they will not see the recycle bin icon on the desktop. Let's close. And as you can see, the test GPU is not applied to any OU. Let's drag it to the marketing OU. Now the test GPU is applied to the marketing OU. So the test user and the members of the marketing group will be affected with that GPU. In this machine, I am the RDP user. So when the test user access his account, he will not see the recycled bin icon on the desktop because the test GPU is applied to the OU he belongs to. Now let's authenticate as the test user and see if that GPU is applied. As you can see, there is no recycle bin icon on the desktop. If I go to CMD, who I am, I am the test user. Great. So let's switch to the domain controller again with the RDP user. And let's also talk about enforcing a group policy and blocking inheritance. 
let's go to the marketing OU and block inheritance and as you can see the default domain policy is not applied anymore on the marketing OU because the marketing OU blocks inheritance now let's go to the default domain policy and enforce it and that's mean whether the marketing OU block inheritance or not this GPU will apply it anyway because it's enforced it. So if we go to the marketing OU, group policy inheritance, we will find the default domain policy. Cool. Now that we understand what is a GPU, how it works, let's see one way that we can use it to leverage our privileges and execute commands as administrators. So let's create a GPU called bad GPU. Let's go to delegation. And those are the objects that have permissions on it. Let's add the fsmith user to this list. And the permission is edit setting. And this happens a lot when a user that have no special privileges on a company like a user just come from an internship or something like this but for example he's a member of a group that have full control on a specific gpu then this simple user can abuse that gpu and maybe get admin privileges from it because when a user create a command or a task within a gpu the task is executed under the context of the system account which has full administrative privileges on the local system that's mean that any command or task created by a user with full control permissions on a gpu will be executed as if they were executed by the administrator so it's always good to check the gpus that you have permissions on and i will show you how to do that using powerview also the amazing bloodhound tool show you if you have any permission on a specific gpu let's go now to the fsmith shell and see what can we do so who i am fsmith let's create a python http server to download powerview so w get 10 10 14 14 8000 slash powerview.ps1 out file powerview.ps1 let's import module powerview and to get the domain gpus we need to type get domain gpu basically as you can see we get the bad gpu test gpu and other domain gpus so to not waste your time let's go directly to the bad gpu and enumerate it and select the object where the display name match bad gpu and this is where the display name comes from so this is the bad gpu object now let's get the ecs on that objects from other objects and if you don't know what is ACL, ACEs, and those commands that I am typing now, please check out the last videos, which is the Bloodhound video. I have explained all of those commands and what are ACEs, ECLs, and how to use the PowerView tool. If that's still confusing you, please check out that video. Hit enter. As you can see, this security identifier is the SID of the object that have those ECEs, access control entries on the bad GPU object. Now let's select just the security identifier and as you can see those are all the objects that have ECEs on the bad GPU GPU. Let's copy this one and convert it to a readable name and as you can see this is fsmith. So fsmith user have permissions on the bad GPU. Let's go back to the object and see what are those ECEs that fsmith have on bad gpu so we got create child delay child read property write property generic execute and that's basically mean full control we can do whatever we want with the bad gpu now let's go to the new tab and go to this python script that will take leverage of the control that we have on the bad gpu and execute command as a local administrator and the command that we will execute is basically adding the fsmith user to the administrator's local group by the way you will find the github repo of this python script in the description below so python tree pi gpu abuse.py as you can see we need to specify the domain the username and the password and the command that we want to execute now let's check what are the members of the administrators group so net local group administrators as you can see fsmith is not a member of it and we also need the GUID of the bad gpu gpu so we're gonna type get gpu dash name bad gpu pipeline select object expand property id so we want just the id of the gpu and again if you don't understand those commands please check out the bloodhound video i have explained all of that hit enter and as you can see we get the unique id of the bad gpu gpu let's copy it and paste it here hit enter 
and it's telling us that a scheduled task have been created. Let's check the domain controller if it has been created successfully. Go to the bad GPU, right click, edit, go to preferences and schedule a task. As you can see, there is a task that has been created and its name is the same as the one we have seen on the terminal. Let's check its properties, go to actions, and as you can see, this is the command that have been executed, adding the fsmit user to administrators group. Now, if we go back to the fsmit shell and check the administrators groups members, we will find that fsmit is a member of it now. And you can do whatever you want, executing a reverse shell, backdoor, netcat, and so on. And as always, I'm going to leave all the articles that I have read to learn this in the description below, if you want to learn more about it. And this is the end of the video. If you learned something, please hit the like button. And if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video.